A lot of details. Wow. Adriana. Pillow talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. And we decided we're going to talk about... Something. Nothing. <laughs> and if you have seen the trailer for Ammonite, you would know that that is from Ammonite. Because that's what we're going to talk about in this entire YouTube video. Because... Guys, Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet's a lesbian. And it's about... Okay, I know she was in Heavenly Creatures different it's different okay it's, it's not different. really it's not the same thing because she choreographed her own sex scene <laughs> it was a very good sex scene S -s -s. <laughs> S -s. okay <laughs> we're gonna break down ammonite for you yeah. if you haven't seen it yet it's been out in theaters for a couple weeks but we know it's a pandemic and either you can't go see it or you don't feel comfortable seeing it it is coming out on premium video on demand december 4th so you can get it and watch it a million times, mm -hmm. which we have done. Mm -hmm. I basically just put the movie on repeat now. Yeah. I'm gonna talk a lot during this video. <laughs> so here's the thing, first of What's all. What's the thing? Okay. Go. Is I thought Ammonite was gonna be a good movie because Francis Lee is a very talented writer, director. He did God's Own Country, which is a really good movie. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so I mean, know it's gonna be a good movie, yeah. but I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Cause I'm like, right. I don't know if I wanna see a bunch of women in bonnets Lifting up several articles of clothing with dresses and trousers rocks. and pick up picking up rocks. Yeah. Being depressed. It actually blew away my expectations. I really liked this movie mm -hmm. a lot. Bonnets included. Even with the bonnets. Even with Sir Ronan's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous bonnets. <laughs> Cause Kate's bonnets were a little more modest. Sersha's? They weren't so in Not your face. Not so much. Sersha's were literally... She was like the rich girl, though. She... So she could have the extravagant bonnet. She's like, look at my $40 million bonnet. <laughs> the two of them are so good. Kate Winslet's incredible as mm -hmm. the most depressing person on the planet. Did she smile in the movie? I think once. Once. <laughs> I think. Once she started smiling... She caught herself and, and was stupid. like, no. It's very lesbian of her. Oh, yeah. We'll try not, like, we're not going to give any major spoilers no. if you haven't seen it. If you have then, seen it, you'll appreciate our jokes a little yeah, more. Yeah, and then if you haven't seen it, watch it, and then come back and rewatch this video, and then you can laugh. You can laugh, okay? <laughs> First, let's talk about some of the things that Ammonite has. So the number one thing is um, two girls sharing one bed, which is like the classic lesbian movie trope, mm -hmm. where every house has one bed, always a twin. It was probably even smaller than a twin, if I'm being... Honest, it was half a twin. All Bad. you need to know is Saoirse Ronan is the little spoon. <laughs> uh, another thing this movie has are long walks on the beach, which is a gay thing. It is now a gay thing. Since Portrait of a Lady on Fire, the gays have claimed long walks on the beach. With no talking, just separated. Socially distanced. Long walks on the beach. Mm -hmm. Ammonites got it. And they're always like... Not even sandy beaches. It's not some Baywatch no. sexy beach. No, no. We got rocky, stormy beach. Stormy beach. <laughs> and they go swimming. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's winter there. I'm like, why are they swimming in this? You can't really tell. Do you know what else this movie has? Is hmm. sexy ex-girlfriends making hand salve. That's something you'll only get if you've seen the movie. Yeah, okay. All right? A staple in lesbian movies, oblivious husbands. Ammonite's got it. Mm -hmm. And thank God for him being away. Like he should have known if you're going to leave your wife with Kate Winslet. What is going to happen? She's going to fall in love with her. God. And then to counter the oblivious husband in also every movie ever, mothers that know too much. <laughs> it also has concerts where only eight people are in attendance. One of them being your ex. Like, you can't even escape your ex at a party. Even in this tiny town. Finally, what this movie has, and one of our favorite things that we also keep quoting, is mushrooms for supper. <laughs> you will get that after you see the movie. This movie takes place in the 1840s. It's not a true story, but it is based on real people, which mm -hmm. is Mary Anning, uh, Charlotte... M Murchison. Murchison. Murch? Murch. Merchersent. Merchersent. Merchersent? <laughs> Mary, whatever. They were both mm -hmm. paleontologists. Mm -hmm. I think there were rumors that Mary Anning was a lesbian or, you know, 
A witch. That's You're either true. a lesbian or a witch <laughs> back then. Yeah. That's it. Sometimes yeah. both. A nice surprise in this movie is that Fiona Shaw's in it, who plays the ex-girlfriend. And she's from Killing Eve. Oh, if, yeah, you don't know who Fiona Shaw is. She's also Aunt Petunia in uh, Harry Potter. And she's a lesbian in real life. Yes. So this movie, there's not a lot of dialogue. It's a little slow. But there is a lot of Kate Winslet's face. If this movie was just Kate Winslet, like picking dirt away from an ammonite, I would still watch it. Mm -hmm. You know what things this movie doesn't have, which is great, is no one dies. Mm -hmm. Even though it's like, you know, set in the past where like two women can't be together, it's not really about that. Like it's no not one- It's also tragic. It's not tragic no. at all. No one's coming in, no one's going to jail. If you like trousers under dresses. You will love ammonite. <laughs> If you like women digging rocks out of the dirt, that's a metaphor for their relationship. You will love ammonite. If you love giant bonnets. You will love ammonite. <laughs> and if you love still going. Kate Winslet's oh. sexy bareback. You will love Ammonite. <laughs> That's how we should review all movies now. And if you love women peeing on rocks at the beach, you will love <laughs> Ammonite. <laughs> you just to keep saying it. I Okay, we're done. We got it. So check it out on December 4th. December 4th. It's coming out so you can watch it at home. Have some mushrooms for supper. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. And we'll see you next Monday. Bye.